Welcome to this time-lapse video of painting a country bluebird in pastels. I started with some practice thumbnails to decide on the type of background I wanted for the bluebird. So here I've placed some guidelines on my UART sanded paper for this demonstration. This is a small 8x8 base and I'm starting with the sky background with some light blue. I will be using a foam applicator to blend the color and then I will apply another layer of color to give it a little more thickness and smooth texture. By creating some thumbnails I was able to determine the correct value and shade of the trees in the distant background. I've drawn a dark horizon line and then I'm adding lighter shades of green to these foreground trees. I wanted these trees to stand out in front of the distant trees in the background. I'm going to add some bushes and trees in front of the horizon line. These shapes will create depth in the painting by making them larger and bringing them forward of the horizon line. I want to place a large tree and foliage to the branches in this area. I'm starting out with my pastel pencil to block out the areas and shapes of the tree. I'm adding some tree trunks and branches to help me determine where the foliage will be placed on the tree. The sunlight is coming in from the left side of the objects, so I'm highlighting the left side of the trees with lighter shades of green and yellow. I'm using the lime green to create the leaves in the forefront of the tree. I am also using dark green to create the shadows between these branches of leaves. The leaves are almost done so I'm just defining some of the branches uh, in the area of the tree. Now I'd like to start working on the landscape background. I'm using some lime green in the background where the sun is being cast in the field. I am shading beneath the tree with some dark green and brown to create the shadow uh, underneath it. There is a small trail that I've used some light brown and I will continue to add some more yellow and lighter greens to represent where the sun is being cast in the field. I will continue to block in this area and use my fingers very lightly to blend the grasses in the field and then I will use a lighter shade at the foreground area and blend with a sponge applicator to give it a grassy texture. The grasses are now blocked in and I will come back to it later to finish all the grass after I have defined the wire fence a little bit and added some color to our bluebird. I've been able to erase excess pastel that may overlap into the bird's body very easily with my pencil eraser and then I use a little brush to dust it away. My goal here is to lay a foundation of color for the base of the bluebird. Now I will use my very dark blue pastel pencil 
to map out the feathers and shadows found in the wing and body of the bird. I will also use some ultramarine blue, which is a very dark, rich color of blue in his wings. I am also using navy blue to define the bird's eye and beak area. Now that I have a base layer established with the bird, I'm going to move on to completing the grasses. I will start with some dark green and use the side of my sponge applicator to create the grass texture. When I apply some light green to the foreground grasses, it suddenly creates a lot of depth in the field. Then for a few final touches, I add a few little flower shapes just to suggest the wild flowers in the field. Now that the background is complete, I can focus on finishing the final details and small feathers in the bird. I will reference my photo here on my tablet to try and place all the small feathers on the bird. I enjoy using my tablet to reference as I'm drawing. I can zoom my image up to see all the details and I can also zoom it down to the exact size of the bird in the painting. It helps to have a high resolution image to draw from as I do here. I have really enjoyed painting this bluebird into a landscape background and I hope you have found this method helpful. To complete this painting, I'll zoom up on the bird's feet. His toes and nails wrap around the bob wire and I will highlight them with some white to give them a realistic appeal. I hope you have enjoyed this time-lapse video of painting a country bluebird. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.